Welcome back everybody. This week Ashley and I are going to be driving across the entire state of Colorado from western Colorado to the Front Range and to the general area of Rocky Mountain National Park. And for this trip we are going to be taking the van which currently only has the subfloor done in yeah. it so it's just a big sheet of plywood that we have on the floor. We just took all of our camping gear, we threw it into the van, we made like a makeshift little camper van back there. Yeah, yeah. We're going to do van life before the van build. Oh, it's a moose? <laughs> There's clouds in front of the building right there. There's nothing. <laughs> so we've been driving for a little bit over an hour and we are currently in Glenwood Canyon and this is the back of the van. This is what we're working with. We will give you a little bit better of a tour a little bit later when we're at camp and we can kind of spruce things up a little bit. It would be to sleep back here while we're going down this dirt road. I could totally sleep. This is really nice. Thankfully, the rain had finally let up while we made our way down the windy dirt roads. When we finally hit pavement, it was a quick drive to Grand Lake, Colorado, where we arrived at the park at the Kawanichi entrance. So we just entered the park and we made our stop at the visitor center to grab ourselves a patch like we always do. And now we are heading to our campground, Timber Creek Campground, to kind of check out our site and probably make dinner because we are super hungry. What is it? You see anything? Oh, it's a moose? No. Right there, straight ahead. Where? I need to get a zoom lens because that's a moose right there. That is a giant moose. <laughs> but it's tough to tell with this little stock lens. So I think I've only ever seen one other moose in my life and it was in Maine. So that was pretty cool that as soon as we drove in, we saw one. Actually, three. Two babies, one big, big boy. Before settling down at camp, we decided to make use of the daylight and go for a quick walk at Hallsworth Historic Site Trail. This 0.7 mile round trip trail is not only home to beautiful views of the Rocky Mountains towering above the Kawanichi Valley and the Colorado River, but is also home to historical cabins, some of which are built over 100 years ago. In 1917, the Hallsworth family made a home for themselves on a 160 acre plot. Over the years, the family obtained over 800 acres and the spot became a popular summer destination for tourists. In 1974, the land was sold to the Nature Conservancy and some of the original cabins are preserved in the park to this day. So I'm making something that I've never made before while camping, and that is Philly cheesesteaks. It was just on sale at the grocery store this week, so that is what I decided to end up making. And also, like usual, it's simple, easy, and quick, and I'm looking forward to it. So Ron and I just finished dinner and just as we were finishing dinner, we actually ran out of propane for our propane fire pit. We just decided to call it a night at about 8.30 since we are extremely tired anyway. <laughs> so I figured we'd give you a little bit of a van tour of what we have going on now. Obviously we have the bed, AKA air mattress, going lengthwise this way and actually when we finish building the van the bed is actually going to be going widthwise with the van and i 
believe we're going with a full. On the sides of the bed, we just have some miscellaneous items. We have my hiking backpack. We also have some pairs of shoes somewhere. We're gonna put the camp chairs over here and then I have my clothes bag back there. Then we have our handy dandy emergency toilet over here. We will have some sort of permanent toilet solution in here eventually. We're not just gonna survive off of a emergency toilet, hopefully. So in front of that, we have our 45 liter Yeti cooler that actually will eventually be replaced with a regular fridge that has like a little freezer and a refrigerator. And then lastly, we actually have a very chic, fashionable, uh, curtain setup to separate the cab from the cargo area and it's about a $20 fix including a curtain rod and two curtains from Walmart. Our ugly curtain setup is just temporary. That's just what we came up with for now so that we can kind of separate the cab area from the cargo area. Okay, I'm going to bed now. You can stop filming me. Thanks. Get out. Go. You're being creepy. Can I play a card game? Mm -hmm. and we just finished packing up all of our stuff. So now we're just gonna take a look at the map um, and see what's along this Trail Ridge Road, which is a very infamous road in the park. It's, it's like the has, main road. Yeah, it has beautiful views and we actually have 40 miles until we get to Estes yeah. Park, which <laughs> is where we're exiting. Yep. So we're gonna see what's along the way that we can stop at and you know check out. Yeah, definitely. We are still climbing up Trail Ridge Road and we are on our way to the Alpine Visitor Center where we're going to do a quick little hike that is actually just a bunch of stairs that is called the Alpine Ridge and I'm pretty sure it brings us up to 13,000 feet which is crazy. <laughs> to put it into perspective on how high up we actually are, we just saw a sign on the side of the road that said we are two miles above sea level. <laughs> 10,000, what, 500 feet? 560 feet. Wow, that's yeah. nice. freezing up here so I just looked I think we're at about we're about to hit 12,000 feet we're at 11,600 feet so we're climbing and there's still a ways to go our air mattress this morning had gotten a little bit flat but since we went up so much in elevation the air was able to expand so much that our air mattress is full again <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> There's clouds in front of the building right there. This is crazy. You can see it moving slowly. Yeah. I don't even know what's over here. That's insane. I have no idea what we're looking at. What are we looking at? I hiked to the top. Ten out of ten experience. <laughs> We're at twelve thousand forty feet. <laughs> That's nuts. I might have been wrong. I don't know if it goes to thirteen thousand. Right now, or at least we're at twelve thousand. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> Clouds. Right now, I can see. Oh, it's the, the clouds. Wow. Look at that, that's insane. <laughs> it's like dark yeah. out. It might look like these poles are here just for like decoration, but these are literally because the snow goes up as high as these poles. <laughs> that's crazy. During the winter. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that. Wow, dude. <laughs> I don't know 
about to say, this is insane. We're currently at 12,300 feet. As we made our way down the mountain, through the clouds, to our last trail of the day, we came across even more animal friends. We just left Rocky Mountain National Park. We hit the last visitor center before we're gonna head out towards Estes Park. And look at this line for the people waiting to get into this entrance. <laughs> This entrance is so small, it's only two lanes. Well, and it's one lane up until here. I'm glad we don't have to sit in that line. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> oh my God, that guy scared me. <laughs> yeah, they're crossing the road. Oh my God, there are so many. Wow. That's so cool. We see them I can't even, can't there is so many. Oh, collar boy is coming up. He's gonna cross the road. Oh my God. Our trip happened to coincide with the Estes Park Wine Festival, so the downtown was much busier than we expected. We miraculously found a paid parking spot big enough for the van, and we made our way downtown to get Indian food for dinner. This was Ron's first time trying authentic Indian food and I was so thrilled when he said that he had enjoyed it because it is one of my absolute favorites. <laughs> There's some kind of event going on here today and there are some pretty drunk people walking around. My one goal in life, if I don't accomplish anything else, is to have a trash can named after me. Next stop, the Stanley Hotel. We're at the Stanley Hotel now and we just finished parking. The guy up front though, he said, there's no videography allowed, only photography. So we're gonna respect that since we're gonna be posting this to YouTube. we entered the Roosevelt National Forest and actually ended up staying at a trailhead at Sugarloaf Mountain. We tried to go down the trail a bit but it seemed to be a little bit too much for the van. I think it's a little bit rutted out. So we stayed right here and it's still a pretty beautiful spot. A little bit more traffic than we're used to than we like but it was still a good spot. So now we're going to start heading south for the day. We're not really sure where we're going to go or what we're going to do, but we're gonna see if we can find some cool stuff to do. Upon doing some research, we realized that we were actually really close to two things that we were interested in visiting. Number one was Boulder, Colorado's legendary Flatiron Mountains. And number two, our favorite, sometimes overrated, sometimes underrated, East Coast coffee staple, Duncan. I love traveling with Ash, but there's only one thing I love more, and that's getting some cheap coffees with Ash. Oh, these weren't really that cheap though. No, they weren't. They're like three bucks. <laughs> Never could have been cheaper. <laughs> we just got to the flat irons. Have absolutely no idea where we are or what we're doing. We're just gonna try to maybe follow the people that look like they know what they're doing. <laughs> it's crazy that we just spent the past two days in like the amazing Rocky Mountains and then we get to the end and there's just like nothingness. Flat land for miles. Mm -hmm. 
chalk marks, this is actually somewhere that people go rock climbing, which is crazy. We're parked right by that building. You can probably see the van from here. Weird wild animals here too. Probably got about, it's only about 1.2 miles I think. What? I'm just enjoying a beach. So we just finished the hike and now it's time to go get some beers. Yeah, and we are going to one of Ron's favorite beer companies that we've never actually visited the brewery before, Upslope Brewery. Yeah, I'm so excited. We're excited to check it out. Water feature, tower thing, and a view of the flat irons we just hiked. And you got a free beer. And I literally got a free beer. <laughs> Don't know how that keeps happening. The keg tapped and then he just gave you a free beer. Especially in SoCal. Got some good stuff. After going to the Flatirons and hitting Upslope, we actually headed south to go down to Colorado Springs to go to a few breweries with our buddy that was there. And now we are just going to be heading back home. We're going to see if we can make it home tonight. If yeah. not, we'll stop along the way. But we want to see some puppies. Yeah, it's about a four and a half, yeah, four and a half hour drive there. So it's definitely going to be dark by the time we get there. I think it's about seven o'clock right now. But we really miss our pups and we miss yeah. having them with us when we go on these big trips. Yeah. So it'll be nice. I don't know. <laughs> it's 9.30. How much longer we got? Uh, I think it's a little 